Hi everybody, I'm Russ with ESVService.com and today I'm going to show you how to convert a 2 lamp 10 pin open style ballast to a 2 lamp RT style ballast. So for this demonstration we've got the cover already removed and your perspective is looking at it from the rear of the bed from where the power cords come in. So first I recommend having the bed unplugged for at least a couple of hours before attempting this and um, when you go to start all you would need to do is uh, say this were the ballast that's failed we would come up to it and we would just simply disconnect the wires from it and then we would just remove the ballast from the frame there's just two screws holding it at the at the base point here now in the kit when you buy the retrofit kit you're going to have a bag that has two brackets and there's a few jumper wires and some screws. Now what we're going to do is first we're going to actually mount the two lamp RT ballast onto the frame of the bed. So for us to do this, I would have it in the center and make sure that there's enough room for your wires to reach your lamp holders at the end of the bed. So what we would do is take the bracket and then line it up to the hole in the frame, in the ballast frame. Take one of the screws from the kit. I would recommend doing the top one and just just snug it. And then do the same thing for the second bracket. Line it up on here and then tighten it down. Now, here on the bottom of these brackets, the holes might not line up. We, can, we have holes here that are going to line up just fine. But if, you're, if you do not have holes that line up, you would need to drill that. And um, I would recommend uh, using a 3 16 drill bit and um, just line it up to where the hole is going to um, match. And be careful not to go through. There's a reflector here and there's lamps right behind that. So I would put a depth stop on your drill for safety so, so as to not damage anything. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this down. So now it's mounted. Now you'll see that there's a black and white wire coming off and there's two pins on the end. This is what connects to your power harness. Just like what was going to your other ballasts, you're going to have a bi-pin female connector. And what you want to do is, um, usually from the factory, this one will be um, white and black and um, the black matches to the black and the white matches to the white. The black is the hot and the white is the neutral. So then what you can do is take your zip tie and then zip tie this out of the way. Gather the wire together to make sure it stays secure and then just zip tie it out of the way. So, then what we'll do is we'll come to the opposite end of the bed and um, 
Actually, we need to remove the four power wire harness. All of these wires will need to come out of those sockets right there. So what you do is take a paper clip and you straighten it and you stick it in. Some of the lamp holders have a little slot in the side. It's like the, basically it'll come right off of the same hole. But here it's got a little slot down in here where you insert the paper clip. When you push it just slightly, it releases the wire from the lamp holder. So we're going to do that to each one of these and pull it right out of, uh, right out of the lamp holder. And then the second one down here. There it is. Okay, so then we do the same for the opposite side. And then we just remove the harness entirely. Well, since I'm here, some of the kits may come, they're going to have two groupings of red wires. Some of them might have two or three each, but either way, you're going to connect one to one lamp holder and the other to the other lamp holder. And I recommend doing the, the closer ones, closer to the ballast that is. So then we're just going to take these wires and gather them. So they're not hanging. And then I'm going to go do the other side. Take the yellow wire and connect it to the very first lamp holder. And I recommend again um, one of the two, actually I, I do the far one here to start. Not absolutely necessary but um, you'll see why. We're going to need to jump these connections so you, you'll see why I choose these. Also in your kit you have jumper wires. You're going to have uh, jumper wires that go for each of your lamp holders. Each lamp holder now needs to be shunted. So I'm going to go on the far side, far from the ballast and close to the end of the bed. And I'm going to put one in either side, just like this. And I do it again for this lamp holder. And only on the yellow side, we're going to take the long yellow jumper and we're going to connect it like this in the one empty that's left here. And then we're just going to jump it over to the second one right there. And then that's done and proper for that end. So the yellow side is completely done. Now, to finish the red side, we just need to shunt out the lamp holders just like we did on the yellow side. So here on the far ones, I'm going to pop the red into this hole and then that hole. It has to be on, on either side of the lamp. And then lastly, I'm going to do it here and here. And then that's it. It's completely installed.